Hi, it's Mr. Iconer here again. I just want to show you some common actions to add to your objects. And the example I'm going to use is an enemy object, which is this ghost here. Or more to the point, we can see the sprite that it's wearing. So I load my enemy object, and what I'm going to say is that when it's created, so when the level starts and it's created, I'm going to make it move. So I drag move in, and I'm going to have it going left at a speed of 5, for instance. So when I'll hit OK and I'll run the program, and as you can see, off it goes and completely disappears off the screen because I haven't told it not to. So now I'm going to tell it not to, and this is a really useful trick. So I open up my object again, and I'm going to set a new action, but this time the event I'm adding is from the other menu. And it is intersect boundary, so that means when it gets to the boundary of the screen. So what I'm going to say is, change your direction. So turn around on the horizontal plane, and go back. So, save that. Run. Okay, here we go. It hits the side, bounces. I think it'll do the same on the other side when it tries to cross the boundary. Yep, there you go. So that's a really neat trick for keeping stuff on the screen so you don't have to spawn things. Of course, you could have it disappear off the screen, but I'll come back in the next video and show you that.